What's going on, collective? How you doing? It's your girl, Miss Smooth, coming at you with another wonderful general reading for all zodiacs, okay? If this resonates with you, I'm so sorry, y'all. If this resonates with you, definitely let me know. This is your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you so much if you're new. Uh, have a seat, get comfortable, handsome, get comfortable, sexy, get comfortable, honey boo. How you doing? Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you so much for the love, the clarity, and the unctions and downloads. We thank you so much for the love. We thank you for the clarity. We thank you so much for all of the messages that you bring our way, okay? Thank you so much for your divine protection over me and the collective's heart chakra, crown chakra, and the soles of our feet as above, so below. Let's go. We welcome you, ancestors. Wow. Thank you. The smoke went out. It just like kind of just like got still <laughs> it just got still all right so i have a really beautiful spiritual message for you okay um so just you know i just got this download um just to tell you a little bit about myself you know i was born into the uh institution of religion uh through my ancestors and people that raised me um, under Baptist and Pentecostal Christian church. Okay. So I was first introduced to God through fear in the church. Okay. And, um, for many, 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 many years, um, I was always told that other religions were false religions and that the Christianity religion was the only religion, the true religion. Okay. Now, a lot of you might argue if, if I'm, if I am, causing any type of traumatic responses please exit because that's not what i'm here to do um i'm just telling you my experience and hopefully you can get something out of it or agree or resonate with it and if you do leave a comment and like it because it really helps other people okay this is a positive message this is not to teach you to do something other than what you know is being suggested okay and spirit wanted me to bring the message. So let's talk about it because I'm not going to make this a long drawn out message spirit, right? We're not, we not doing that today. <laughs> By the way, it is Mother's Day. So for any of you that are a mother or mother figure, happy Mother's Day from Miss Smooth to you. Namaste. Okay. So the first thing that came to mind was the power of um. Now, this is so funny because like for me, I don't know about you collective, but for me, um, see, I just did it. <laughs> Whenever I'm trying to make a decision or get that download from the divine or, you know, try to explain or communicate my emotions or feelings, I always have the tendency to say, um... Um, um, my whole life, my whole fucking life, I promise you. And I don't mean to curse. <laughs> okay. But spirit was like the power of, um, so I'm like the power of, um, and the first thing my body immediately did, it's like, as if I was a robot, I began to, and if you want to do it with me now, I'm about to do it. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to breathe in, take a deep breath in. And then say, um, and release the breath in the, um, release your breath in the, um, right. Release in the, um, and so I did that. Um, um, you know, like, and the more you get comfortable with saying, um, it becomes more like a chant. Okay. And so it immediately sent me to my computer to go research it. Now, I did know because, you know, we do live in a world with technology. You hear things, but you don't really know until you investigate, until you start learning. I'm picking up the page of Swords Energy for me. I don't know about you. OK, this is new to me because I was always told that you shouldn't do things like this. But I'm going to tell you all my experience when I did this. 
I did it a few times and I just felt at peace. I felt blissful. I felt calmness. I felt like home. And I want to cry because, you know, as a person, as a mother or, or a parent, as, as someone with responsibilities, whether it's over your life or others, you can be bombarded with, you know, stress. Okay. You can be bombarded with overthinking. Okay. And this causes all kind of health issues within us on a daily basis, um, unconsciously. Because we're trying to be an adult, we're trying to be human, we're trying to be, you know, 3D, right? Because we do live here, so we do have to adapt, okay? And so Spirit was showing me, you know, go look it up, but I did realize that it is Hinduism. And guys, I'm not going to lie. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all. One second. Let me vibrate that. All right, so um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm thinking about practicing Hinduism. I guess if you want to call it that, or at least information from it. Like we learn from each religion, and every religion, we kind of piggyback off of each other, right? Um, I'm gonna say this. Spirit said to me, to me. I can't say to you, but to me, that every season requires a different a different vibration okay every season requires a different vibration okay and hold on y'all hold on i have to write stuff down y'all know that <laughs> if you don't know now you know every season requires different vibration a different vibe okay so um long story short i started to feel bliss when i practiced this okay and it just really just you know for those of you that are trying to tap into what is your spiritual gift what is your superpower um divine wants you to know to Open that portal to learn more about what's already there that's dead and doormat. Um, to activate your other superpowers, use the original superpower. Every human being, every soul has the power of Om, um, the universe, okay? And the power of Om um is like sage, okay? Um, it, it allows you to... Uh, remove negativity and and draw in the positivity you can literally transform the negative vibration to positive vibration you are a walking superpower you are a walking vibration okay and it activates your don't kill me in the comments amigadala Okay, and your prefrontal cortex. Okay, so that's a certain part of the brain. Go look it up, go do your research, especially if you want to tap into the power or apply it into your meditation. Okay, um, it says that it relieves stress. Okay, and it allows you to make better decisions. Okay, so if you feel like you don't have no spiritual gifts, that's the motherfucking lie. Okay, spirit is saying you have the power of um, okay, O M, and that is basically connected to all consciousness, okay, and um, you can also activate it with the 432 hertz sound from YouTube. This is cell rejuvenation, okay, and this is the sign of um, okay, this is the symbol of um. OK, and it's basically, you know, it connects you to all living creatures, all living vibration. OK, it connects you to the divine. It connects you to your ancestors. It connects you to your spiritual gifts. It connects you to wisdom. All right. Um, spirit says it calms the nervous system. It brings unity within yourself as one. OK, so whenever you feel displaced, whenever you feel like you're getting migraines, whenever you feel like your blood pressure is getting high. Let me tell you all a quick story. My daughter came in here and I was teaching her it because she's very emotional, partly my fault. Um, 
you know, having a baby and going through traumatic experiences um, can cause anxiety on a, a fetus. Okay. Um, and, and that baby can be born with anxiety because you had anxiety. Then when a baby comes into the world, if you're still in that ang anxious state, if you're still operating in anxiety and that vibration, not knowing how to calm your nervous system. Now this baby is a walking portal of vibration that is receiving the same vibration that the mother receives. Okay. And it's so funny that spirit wants me to bring this on mother's day. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, um, you know, spirit is letting me know that, you know, um, um is really a U M. Okay. That's how you enunciate it. And so the a and um, even though it's O M the way we see it written, it's a U M. Okay. I can, I can say it right here. It's a U M. All right. So a is traumas, darkness. OK, and when babies are born, aren't they born in the darkness? We all are born in the darkness. OK, and then there was light. OK, um, and then is Rajas passion and dream. So to tap into your passions and your dreams and desires, um, the you is Rajas. OK, and then the last one is M, which means uh, Sattva, Sattva purity, truth, light. So you're bringing in the darkness comes your passion, comes your dreams, comes your desires. When you bury a seed in the ground, um, you put light and water to it and it begins to grow. So I feel like if you want to birth out your spiritual gifts that you do not even know or have uh, discovered yet, Start with the power of, um, I love this. Okay. Um, someone famous says Amit Ray is the name. It says as flowers increase the sweetness of the honey by hearing the humming, humming sound of the bees, um, chanting increases the sweetness of life. Isn't that beautiful? Like I'm here to I'm here to add sweetness to each and every one of Moo Tribe family and anyone who's new that is watching. I want to add sweetness to your vibration. I am sweet. I love to be loving. I love you. Okay. And um, you know, as a mother loves a child, okay. Um, I embody that because I know what it is to be a mother. I have three beautiful daughters, okay? Um, at the age of nine, uh, during the crack epidemic, my family experienced that, and I had to take on um, the responsibilities of being a mother by raising a newborn and a one-year-old, feeding them bottles. It was my responsibility, and I did it willingly, no matter how burdensome it may have felt. Um, because I knew at that moment they couldn't fend for themselves. Okay. And I feel like divine is saying, you cannot do this by yourself. You need me. So to connect to me, you can connect to me through the power of, um, I want you to be happy. I want you to have a sweet life. Oh, this is so pretty. All right. So let's go ahead and um, get some messages from divine, from your spirit guides. Um, let's get some messages from the creator of the universe. The vibration of love unconditionally is here. The vibration of earth and fertility and grounding is here. The vi vibration of cell rejuvenation is here. The vibration of unity is here. And I really appreciate you guys tuning into Mood Tribe Family. I really appreciate you tuning into this channel of Miss Mood's Motivational Tarot because this is what I am here for to add to your life to bring sweetness, to bring tranquility.
the best I can through messages of love, okay? Through the power of um. <laughs> I love it, Spirit. Thank you so much for this message, okay? Divine, what would you like to add to this message? Bring your wisdom and your infinite grace. Bring your love unconditionally. Bring the power of your words. Please and thank you, Divine Spirit of my ancestors, of the creator of the universe, of my collective's ancestors, of their highest good and light. You know I'm not going to take all that, right, Spirit? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Thank you. Can you give us one message or two? Please and thank you. Thank you. All right, so Spirit is saying... When I learn, when I lean toward love, I am led. Okay, so spirit is saying when you lean towards spirit, divine, your creator. Okay, when you walk in love, right? Not judging, not critiquing, just loving. You are being led, okay? Um, Spirit is also saying that my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So if you're not feeling happy, like I said, if you're not feeling content, if you're not feeling like there's sweetness in your life, Spirit is be definitely letting me know that, you know, um, it could have a lot to do with your level of faith and your level of faith is are you willing to try something new that is all about the state of bliss and sweetness to get a stronger connection to your higher self are you willing to do that right are you willing to turn on youtube and put 432 hertz and listen are you willing to sit down in quietness not thinking, not trying to figure it out, but just being in the presence of divine to receive messages that you can't explain to no fucking body how it really happened. Like I can tell you, okay, I got this download, but what are the details of that download? Like, can you really explain to me how it went from one to, no, not really. I mean, I can, it's vibrational, but the whole process was invisible. OK, it was invisible, just the same way that you think, the same way that you, you know, get an idea. Right. You can't explain how the idea actually happened. You could be around 50 million people and get an idea. But nobody sees it but you and your divine spirit guides and your higher self. That's it. Until you open up your mouth and say something, nobody knows. Nobody knows what is going on with you internally, okay? And that's why it's called a superpower, okay? It's invisible, all right? But it's powerful, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> I love readings like this when I'm learning as I teach, all right, let's go ahead and cut the deck and let's talk about this. Let's talk about your superpower, your spiritual gifts. All right. All right, spirit, what would you like to advise the collective? Please and thank you. When it comes to the power of um, what would you like to advise in their current energy? Please and thank you. Ooh, there's a lot of cards. <laughs> All right, so we have the clock. OK, so spirit is saying new opportunities, be patient, make the best out of the situation. Do not give up during hard times. OK, so um, it did come in a reverse. Um, spirit is saying indecisive and in making choices, impulsive, difficult times ahead, delays due to hardship and struggles. So some of you could be going through a hard time um, or you could just be having a hard time on making decisions. Um, you struggle with it because of past situations where you made a decision and things didn't turn out the way you thought they were. 
and and that puts a damper on your faith, right? Spirit is saying that my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. And so I really feel like when you practice the power of Om, you begin to become one with divine. So that when you make these decisions, you've already been open to the suggestion of being led. And that's why spirit is saying, when I lean toward love, I am led. I can't make this up, y'all. I can't. And I'm going to do my very best not to curse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get something else? So, Spirit is advising me that the, the time is running out. Um, something is coming to an end, okay? I'm, I'm feeling like the Nine of Wands, okay? Thank you. Ooh. Thank you, Spirit. So we have skull. Beware of negative thoughts, fear, warning signs, and danger ahead. Death, poisonous people, and influences and disease. All right. Make the most out of li uh, out of life. Unique rebirth. Overcoming fear of death. Seek wisdom and be courageous in life. I'm gonna keep this right side up. I felt like there's an end to something that um there's an end to one chapter and you entering into another chapter okay and you're overcoming your fears of death because you know that you are always transitioning when you have that loving embrace of knowing that you have your spiritual team with you you fear nothing have no fear love is here okay and that's for somebody. Oh, okay, spirit. So the first card that came out, I love it. That's why our spirit be backing me up. I love these flowers, violets. Get some violets to put around your house. Go buy yourself some violets. If you're a mother um, or a mother figure, I'm giving these to you. Spirit says restoration, protection, time out, sp uh, sorting truth through fiction. Healing broken hearts will be healed and a lot of balance. I'm so happy it didn't come this way because the upright says, you know, well, I like it either way. But devotion, nourishment, joyful home, good relationships, love, new love of people, projects and manifesting. OK, but I think that it's in a reverse because spirit wants to restore. And show you that you are protected. OK. Some of you could be trying to sort things out, trying to believe the path that you're on. If it's just fictional or you or are you really a spiritual being? OK, give me one second, y'all. Sorry, collective. I am cooking for my family. <laughs> I know it's Mother's Day, but every day is Mother's Day and. I get joy out of feeding my children, feeding my family, being able to be in that position to do so, you know. Um, for those of you that have been down a road where you might be struggling, I know what that's like. I know what it's like not to be able to feed my kids. I know what it's like to have to put my pride aside and ask for help. I know what it's like to try to make ends meet. And doing it all by yourself because you really just don't have that strong knit of um, <clears throat> human help. And um, this is one of the reasons why I'm on a path that I'm on. This is one of the reasons why I bring these messages because I know what it's like to be in a situation where either no human being can help you out of the situation or circumstance that you're in. Like, no one can help you. I mean, yeah, people can do things, but you don't even know who that person is. So how are you going to go to them and say, please help me get my application process. Please help me get my housing application process. Please pick me Um to get that done, please help me put food on the table. Please help me get a job. Like you do, but so much, but at the end of the day, you still need that, you know, that one up. Right. And so it draws you to your knees. It draws you to your face. It draws you to, 
you know, cry out in the universe with a certain vibration, like how a child cries out to their mother. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so Spirit is saying, you know, I know what it's like. And I'm telling y'all, little bits and pieces, the more you follow me, you will learn more about my story, my journey. Um, especially when I come out with my book, you know, I want to explain to people, you know, my journey, my life, my legacy, okay? Um, to teach others. Because what, what, what was the point of going through the things we go through if we don't help someone else, okay? If we don't pass the knowledge and wisdom along, okay? If it worked for me, it works for someone else. It can't work for everyone else, but it can work for someone. Okay. And that's, that's, that's my whole point of being on this platform is to help others that hear the call. Okay. And so spirit is saying that there is restoration coming. Okay. You do have protection. Okay. You are in a position where you may feel like nothing's working for you, but you're actually putting yourself on the time out to sort out truth from fiction. Okay. Um, you're also, some of you could be healing from broken heart, right? Um, especially if you lived a life where you just did not have close knit family, you never felt loved. And so here comes the divine coming down to swoop you up, capture your heart, hold you close and let you know I am right here. I am in the state of bliss. If you would only speak, if you would only quiet your mind, you will hear that you do have help. <clears throat> So restoration is here, okay? And to re re to rejuvenate your cells, to get restoration, listening to 432 hertz connects you to all living things, especially if you're not able to get outside and walk in the woods, walk outside in nature. Um, maybe you don't have a good neighborhood where you could do that at. So you do it how you can because as you elevate, as you heal within, your world begins to change and restore, okay? And spirit is saying that um, you're going to see your problems in a new light. So a lot of things could be foggy. You could have migraines. You could not be able to think clearly. When you chant the power of um, it brings on a sense of calmness to your nervous system and it allows you to make better decisions. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm hoping this helps you. If it does, y'all, please leave a comment because it helps me um, connect to your, your spirit so that you can get more messages like this. Okay. Hit the notification bell if you're already a subscriber. And if you're not, hit both. Okay, but comment, like, so other people can get this message as well. This is helping and healing. Okay, and anything that adds bliss and sweetness to life is a good thing. Okay, it's a superpower. Okay, your words are powerful. Spirit is saying that, um, it's gonna help take you away from being distracted. Um, you might have. Especially for those of you that don't know the unknown, right? What's the next step? What's going to happen next, right? So to get that, to, to feel safe. That's why I said when I did it, Spirit allowed me to feel, I just felt good. Like just bliss, happy. Even my daughter, she was doing it and um, then she started to get on my nerves, <laughs> She started to like, so I have these 21 questions and I'm trying to work on this message, right? So I try to take time to talk to her, but then it's just, it's a never ending story. And I'm like, whoa, 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 I have to take my energy back. I need to do something, right? I'll get back to you. And she didn't want to leave me alone. So well, you know what I did, right? <clears throat> um, um, okay. So spirit is saying, you ain't got to do it that loud, but <laughs> I did it loud to really show her, right? But spirit is saying that when people see you automatically go from disconnect, like you unplug and plug into the power to the source, whatever's drawing energy from you will disperse. It will remove itself, okay? Um, and, and I think that's beautiful. I think that is a superpower, right? Taking ownership back of your life, of your energy, 
okay? And um, I really just, I love this reading. <laughs> I love this reading. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you, okay? So we have scrolls sideways, okay? And Spirit is telling me, um, you're completing a cycle, okay? You're accomplishing some tasks. You have hidden intelligence and knowledge. Let it out. See? Good news and positive ways to shine and wisdom is bestowing upon your life. Okay. And, um, you know, even for those of you that are in the church that may watch this in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, it says that in all thy getting, get understanding. They are far better than rubies and gold. Okay. Rubies and gold. Okay. And all thy getting, get wisdom and understanding. So you're going to get a lot of downloads about how, as you go on this journey, discovering your spiritual paths, spirit is saying that it's really going to put you in a position to really feel highly respected and honored. Okay. You're going to have a passion and a focus and a drive. Your, your other superpower is compassion. And you're protected by your guides and your spirits, okay? Some of you have very strong ancestors. They out here. <laughs> they said, if you don't leave my baby alone, uh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I can't fucking make it up. Look at the skulls. If that don't represent ancestors, I don't know what is. Okay? They saying, make the most out of life, baby. Be unique. Go through this transformation. Let the world see who the fuck you really are. And don't apologize for nothing. Ooh, I like that. I don't know whose ancestor was that, but she, he, somebody. <laughs> they don't play. They don't play. Okay? They're bringing restoration your way. Okay? Yes. We have end of hardships, good marriage, celebration, happiness, good news, alertness. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, my God. I need a bell. I said every time I see a bell, I need to ring it. Y'all know what I'm about to do, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> ring that bell, baby. Ring the bell. SOS. Okay. Tom, come and get it. I hear. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get this wisdom. Come and get this sweetness to life. Come and get this vibration to elevate yourself. Okay. You got good things coming in. Some of you are about to meet your divine counterpart. Some of you are about to meet your soul tribe. Some of you are about to receive, you know, <clears throat> lots of abundance. Um, victory is yours. Okay. Victory is yours. All right. I claim this victory is mine because I said so. I don't need nobody to back me up. Spirit backs you up. Why would I create something and want it to, to fail? Okay. Musical instruments. What the hell I say? <laughs> what I say is because of the oil on my hands, y'all. <laughs> I got happy, happy. <laughs> when you hear a bell, don't you get happy? Okay, well, it depends on the bell. I got you. <laughs> All right, stop living in other people's shadow, easily persuaded, overwhelmed, sad, under the influence, careless, and reckless, okay? Yeah, spirit is saying, you know, it's time to show your true potential, charismatic, reliability, harmony. You're on the right path, self-awareness. And that's where I'm putting it because that bell came out in the positive. So I know that each and every one of us have our own tune, but we all make a huge orchestra to the vibration of the universe. We all have one song, even though we're different instruments. And that is the song of happiness. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Let me hurry up. Where we at? Oh. All right. Two more, y'all. Two more. Spirit, two more. And we close the reading. 
Okay, thank you. All right. So we have staff. Okay, we have staff. And it says your dreams are being supported. Divine connections with God, the universe, power, wisdom, purpose, knowledge. A lot of you are in the, you have a spiritual power of knowing the unknown, past, present, and future. And it says that, you know, my staff is with me. Okay, my staff is with me. Your spirit team is with you. They're here twice. Somebody's grandparent used to walk with a cane and they ain't even need it. <laughs> they ain't even need the cane, yo. But they had it. It was their signature, I'm hearing. It's just, it, it went with them. It just went with them, okay? Oh my goodness, all right? And then we have Earn. I can't fucking make this up, yo. They go together, okay? They go together. Some of you could have kept this. Um, when your loved one passed, some of you have um, cremated them. But financial prosperity, good changes, a long life is ahead of you. Good news is coming. Keeping love and dreams alive. New life. Okay? Wow. I got to pull some tarot. I got to pull some tarot. But what I did want to pull out, because I wrote some things down, with the power of arm, it removes... Um, tension, anxiety, fear, depression from your life. Okay. It's, you are a walking human vibration when the power of arm can take the negative energy from outside interference or within your mind and turn it into positive, uh, experience, positive energy. Okay. And so spirit is saying that, um, <clears throat> You definitely have a superpower to utilize every day if you would apply it, okay? If you would apply it, all right? So I'm going to just pull out a few tarots because somebody is getting something and I want to know. <laughs> Don't you want to know? I want to know. If spirit will permit us to know, okay? Hmm. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me, I'm going to just put these two here and slide you down. Okay, slide you down. All right, all right. Got a little space here, right? Got a little space. <clears throat> you can ring my bell. That's what I'm hearing. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Now, I think in the song, she's saying, you can ring my bell, like, you can come get it. <laughs> but, you know, Spirit is saying, ring your bell. You can ring my bell. Like, I, you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. I'm ready. I'm ready for all the good things that are coming, okay? <laughs> all right, ancestors, spirit, divine, of our highest good and light. Thank you so much for the clarity. Come through with the messages of the good news, okay? Thank you, spirit. Let's put that right there. All right, matter of fact, spirit said, put it on top of the bell. You bring that energy, okay? Y'all see what I do? I'll stop the camera and go run find my bell off my ancestor table just to ring it for you, just to give you that vibration. <clears throat> All right, so we have the nine of fucking pentacles. Oh, I, I didn't mean to curse. <laughs> nine of pentacles. All right, rewarded efforts. Didn't they say you have completed a chapter? It's time to show your true potential. Um, you have. Um, where was it? Where was it, spirit? I swore they said the bell. Yeah, good news is coming into hardships. Exactly. So you have some good things coming in. Something is coming in that's very, you know, recognition. Somebody's bringing in a, a very expensive gift. Um, I'm also, somebody could be moving into their new place. Thank you, Spirit. Um, somebody could be attending a gala or a ball, like some type of event. Um, somebody's getting married. I'm picking up. Ooh, nice. Nine of Pentacles. 
All right. Spirit, what about the Nine of Pentacles? Can we clarify? <clears throat> Somebody is getting a love offer. Okay. Classic romance. Charming. Idealist. Who is this person? Somebody who's a bachelor or a bachelorette. Knight of Cups. Okay. So they could be, they could be, you know, Nine of Pentacles is, um, you know, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you take it how it resonates. But somebody is getting some type of, um, some type of offer. That's coming in. Oh, look at the hearth. And okay, so Taurus, a very uh, wise, uh, traditional, um, spiritual marriage or spiritual person. A love offer is coming either towards you or being offered by someone that is in a, um, I, and I did another reading on this. Um, Y'all need to go look at my recent videos. Um, <clears throat> but you have the Hierophant, okay? So you could be getting some type of um, offer, abundant offer that's coming in the form of a love token, a love gift when love calls, I'm hearing. And the Hierophant is like from a uh, very spiritual teacher. OK, so you could be getting an opportunity to go to school, a very predominant school. Um, mm, anything else for it? Can we clarify? Can we clarify the nine of pentacles? Oh, can we clarify the nine of pentacles? Thank you. Oh. Spirit, I'm not going to take none of that because all that came out all sloppy. I'm sorry. We don't do those things. No, 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 no. Can we clarify? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, so it's the three of swords and the ace of wands. Mm. So somebody's been healing and they're ready for love. You could ring my bell. I told you. You could ring my bell. It's coming from somebody that could definitely be, you know, a spiritual teacher. Oh, what about this Ace of Wands? Why are you trying to fall all on the floor? Now I got to go look for the card. You know, y'all be making me work. <laughs> y'all be making me work. Oh, my God. These cards. The card went inside the... Yo, I'm not lying to y'all. I'm going to show y'all. This is how the box is sitting on the floor on my shelf. The card went inside the damn box, okay? In the sage box on top of that. Let me light another sage. <laughs> Let me light another sage. Told y'all keep sage in your life. If I didn't tell you, I'm telling you now. Keep the sage in your life. Spirit is making me stop. Doing the reading to light the sage for a reason. Purification. That's what I'm hearing. Purification. You have been purified. Oh, you have been purified, collective. Thank you, spirit. You have been purified. If you're wondering why you're getting all this good news, these good things, you have went through the test. You've been tried, tested, and tried again. And spirit is saying no more. Okay, no more. Look, two of swords. Okay, difficult choices. It's time to make a decision on this ace of wands because you go from the ace of wands to the two of swords. So, <clears throat> you know, um, it's time for you to come out of this energy of the three of swords. Yeah, yep, trying to make a decision. Okay. Um, wow. What else, spirit? <laughs> we just went real, we went all the way to the, to the next thing. Something about love and marriage and a partner and a decision and a three of swords. And you wow, who is that? Somebody coming on a motorcycle? 
Apparently so. Something coming in quick. Something. Somebody coming in quick. Who's this person, Spirit? Because you got all the sign symbols and synchronicities out here. And I'm taking this and that's it, Spirit. Gosh. So you got the Seven of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Cups. And you got the Five of Swords. Ooh. Time to make a decision. Um... So some kind of new start, new beginning. The Three of Swords is um, some so a separation or a loss is being restored. Okay, okay, because we did have the violets out here. So you know, let me let me pull this for y'all real quick. Right, it says restoration. Right restoration okay so okay so we do have restoration we have protection we have healing and it says i, I can't lie it says broken heart will be healed can y'all see that hold on y'all can y'all come on camera oh let me see there broken heart will be healed y'all see that a balance so there's some kind of balance okay and Spirit is saying that um, you're being rewarded for your efforts that's bringing in this love offer from someone you was married to with the Hierophant, okay? And this person probably hurt you or broke your heart or there was a separation. And the Ace of Wands is here to say, you know, I'm bringing... This is, this is from your Spirit, guys. This is from Divine. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, Okay. <laughs> But there's a reason for this union coming back together. And so the Two of Swords is about a difficult choice needing to be made, okay? Because there was some type of conflict, right? So if you have the Five of Swords and you have the Two of Swords, that equals the Seven of Swords, okay? And the Seven of Swords is all about some type of thief or abusive relationship. And I feel like that's what it was. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Okay. And it caused somebody to walk away and search for some type of truth, right? Why did this happen? Why did our legacy why did our legacy come to an end with the eight of cups and the ten of pentacles? Right? You guys had a family together and the family was separated. And now the seven of pentacles is here. Somebody wants to work on rebuilding. Wow. I love this reading, though. Okay. They want to work on rebuilding. Where we at? Oh, time to go. Knight of Wands. Told you. Coming in quick. Knight of Wands. Been thinking about it. Getting clarity. And now judgment is here with the Knight of Pentacles. Can't make it up. Okay. So, <laughs> you got a decision to make, honey boo. I can't tell you what to do. Um, bye boo.